Hello everyone, my name is Calvin, this is Cal Pal Plays. Today we are going to be checking out Fallout London. Uh, this is a complete overhaul mod of Fallout 4 that obviously takes place in London. It's completely free, so I'll leave a link of their website in the description below. Um, so if you have Fallout 4 and all the DLCs, you can download it for yourself and check it out. This is a this is highly anticipated. Um, it was years in the making. The NPCs are voice acted and the team spent a lot of time doing it. They were supposed to release this back in, I believe, April of this of 2024. Um, but because Bethesda's next-gen update, it kind of messed up the team and the mods, so uh, it got delayed a little bit. But as of this recording, um, on July 25th, it's officially out. So we are going to do a playthrough of this. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, we are going to be playing this on very hard. I kind of can't be bothered with survival, especially for a first playthrough. Um, but we're just going to start a new game. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of man, when tribes beat each other to death over necessities, the will to power has been the driving force of mankind. When the great fires of humanity's ambition ravaged the earth, it was not our doing. For the bloodiest chapter of human history had only begun. Britain was not spared the hellfire. And London, a monument to mankind's ambition, was returned to the state of nature. Those who emerged from the ashes did so from a network of underground bunkers known as Pindar stations. And so it was that the embers of civilization would ignite once again. Over a century later, through the military might of the Tommies, an aristocratic parliament continues to give orders but few are still listening. In the Tower Hamlets, the fifth column rises. Training drums beat and uniforms march, all in the name of their dear leader, Eve Varney. Across the Thames, in the pastures of Richmond, a great army gathers strength. Styled on the Camelot Knights of days past, they're headed once more unto the breach. For there are whispers of angels beneath this hallowed land, a curtain of illusion and intrigue, a puppeteer behind the scene. Only one thing is certain. Those who take the road to Westminster will be forever changed. Because in mankind's pursuit of power, there is no price too high, no life too valuable, and no ideal too sacred. Because war, war never changes. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the door, please. Select body type. Male. Subject has been performing adequately. No spikes in visuals. Nothing unusual. Perfectly usual. Quiet. Smythe. Will be pleased. Smythe. How are they in appearance? Incredibly dashing. I'm certain. Perhaps we should take a closer examination. Uh, we're not going to spend too much time on character creation. Uh, we're just going to probably leave it at the default. I think these are just the standard Fallout uh, presets. I will change the hair color, though. Uh... Ooh. 
Uh, let's go with blue dye. Matches the eyes a little bit. I'm um, not too into, like, scars and tattoos and stuff. Um, so we'll just leave it at that. Nothing some surgery won't be able to fix down the line. Excellent. A rapid progress is being made. A rapid. Anomaly. Of course. Now, what about their physical and mental development? Mental development? Primate level. <laughs> Uh, time to self-insert here. Uh, what makes me special? Name is Calvin. <laughs> uh, strength. Oh. Come on. Strength is probably below average. <laughs> Perception average. I'm just gonna build it based on my real life. <laughs> Charisma definitely low. <laughs> and uh, I'm not too into, I'm not really looking to min max at this point because I'm not too sure what's good. So uh, we're just gonna go build me basically. Probably agility. <laughs> Pretty much jack of all trades, all rounder kind of thing. Uh, so let's accept. Oh, we get traits. Um, acrobats plus ten movement speed, but minus fifty pounds of carrying capacity. Probably not going to work too well for me, considering I'm a hoarder. Chem head. Uh, minus one to special when not under influence of chems. Claustrophobic. Plus one special when outside, but suffer minus one when indoors. Uh, four eyes. I kind of want to wear whatever I want. Um, not going to try to min-max my stats unless I really need to for like checks and stuff, so probably not going to take this one. Uh, gifted. Plus one special, plus one to each special, but suffers 15%, uh, minus 15% from experience gained, which isn't too bad, I suppose. Un melee and unarmed attacks. Not too interested in that for now. Order plus 75%, uh, plus 75 pounds is good, but um, speed drops to zero when over encumbered. Kamikaze. Action points plus 50% faster, but you take plus 20% more weapon damage. Night Owl. Intelligence and perception during the night, but opposite during the day. Numbskull. Uh, plus one strength, endurance, and luck, but intelligence never exceeds three, which kind of hinders my build. <laughs> Puritan, plus one strength, endurance. This is reverse if the player drinks alcohol or uses chems. Uh, which is pretty much like me in real life. Not the my body is a temple thing, but I don't really drink or smoke or anything like that. Uh, so we'll take Puritan. Sleepwalker. Uh... A gift or a curse, who knows? You often find yourself waking up in strange places with no memory of how you got there. That's pretty interesting. I think this is better for a second playthrough though. And if I'm doing a series on this, it'd be really uh, incoherent. So I'm probably going to skip on this one. I think I'm just going to go basic and go gifted. And yeah, let's do that. Gentlemen, I trust everything is going well. Yes, boss. Tremendously so. In fact, it may be our best work yet. You're damn right I am. Good. The subject looks ready for conditioning. Within a week or so, we can wrap up phase one. Thank you, sir. I'll set phase one on autopilot. See that it's done. Are these guys good or bad? <laughs> Am I turning into a super mutant or not? Rousing a bit. Not to worry. Let's put them back under. No. Ah. 
You're dead. Who are these guys? He's dead. <laughs> Don't have to keep shooting. <laughs> you can hear the sound. Okay, started Broken Angel, escape the facility. Uh, I'm assuming we break this glass. I don't know too much about this game. I know that uh, Neil Newbin, the guy that voiced Asterion in Baldur's Gate 3, has some voice lines in this mod. So I'm looking forward to seeing him. Or, or I guess, hearing him in this case. <laughs> of course! What fun! I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> What do I look like right now? Uh, okay. I have something on. I don't think I have a pit boy or menu yet. Yeah. Okay, nothing too interesting here. Let's get going. Yeah, I'm going to playing, be playing this in regular widescreen aspect ratio um, because Fallout 4 sucks with ultra wide anyway, so no point in me recording that format. Especially when like YouTube doesn't support it and no one really watches it in ultra wide. Can I die here? <laughs> Wait. Ooh. This place is open. Uh. things. Man, too used to um, the Starfield traversal things, like the booze pack and everything. And just grabbing on the ledges and stuff. Ooh, okay. GOG.com t-shirt and slacks. Terminal. Thank you for playing our mod. Ultimate fan, John Smith. Okay, these are just like credits. Exclusive. Okay. Not too, nothing too interesting in there. That relates to story, I mean. Uh, was that it for this room? I wonder what their alternative to the uh, Pip Boy is because Vault Tech is an American thing. And this is London. Ew. Bobby Pin, let's take that. Oh, these terminals look cool. <laughs> First, let's reset door mechanisms. Whoops. Ow. What? My controls are messed up. I can't do anything. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Okay, we are back here. I made a save just in case that happens again. 
Uh, but let's open this terminal again. Obviously, this mod has some bugs and kinks that they need to sort out. Uh, okay. Mission? I thought that would be standpoint, but obviously not. STH point. What's that? Redacted, redacted. External. I've redacted and corrupted your file. <laughs> Log entry one. Oh. Log entry one. The troopers have secured us a batch of the uh, rat shoes for testing. I've preferred working with rat rats, but it seems like they were chased off by their counterparts. Judging by the size of the rat shrews in London Bridge Station, I don't entirely blame them. And entry log 2. Testing on the captured rat shrews is going well. Multiple have died, but the remaining ones are stronger than ever. I'm especially proud of the one we affectionately refer to as Big Dave. I'm now going to move us onto the next stage of development, which will introduce more vitamins into their diet. Uh, we'll also simultaneously reduce their feed to see how they cope. I predict a lot of them will die, so we better get the nets ready to capture some more. Okay. <gasps> Am I a rat shrew experiment? Smythe should be content with the results. Progress has been made and exciting new things have been discovered. Not only did the rat shrews surpass expectations, but some of the results correlated with our prize subjects next door. I will be fabulous to see it all coming together. With any luck, Smythe will visit the laboratory soon and see our progress. And then Ratshrew. Ratshrew, a small carnivorous mammal. The Ratshrew seems to have mutated from its much smaller counterpart, the common shrew. Unlike the sh common shrew, which has insectivorous, its evolution along the food chain now permits it to hunch much larger prey. Ratshrew has tiny eyes and large nose, giving it the keen sense of smell. Ratshrews uh, snuffle through the undergrowth for their prey and can be found in most habitats, but prefer dirt flooring, woodland, and grasslands. Active by day and night, they are very territorial and aggressive for their size and can sometimes be heard fighting. Their high-pitched squeaks are particularly noticeable during the summer. Okay, let's see if we bug out again. Yes, we do! I'm, like, inside my body now, basically. <laughs> Frick! Okay, let's try this for a third time. Reset door mechanisms. Ah, damn it. They don't even see me anymore. And my mouse doesn't work. <laughs> oh man. Not good. Is there any way we can fix this? Uh, let's try to do it in third person to see if that helps. Probably not considering... Yep, the terminal is just like broken. Well, maybe I'll just end it here, like a short 20 minute video or something. <laughs> that way, uh, when they fix it, or when I find out how to fix it, we can start playing, or if not, then we won't. <laughs> uh, okay. And it's just this terminal too, because we checked out the other terminal and it was fine. What if I take all this stuff? Ah, uh, crap. Did not want to do that, but okay. Yep, this is just bugged. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching the first video of Fall in London. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, share, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Damn it.
I was so excited for this too.